Hello, everyone. The boy's butcher turned out to be the complete opposite of who he was initially portrayed as, making him the series' protagonist. Although Butcher was always the ruthless leader of the boys and wasn't hesitant to strike people when they needed it sometimes with a pickaxe through the brain, everything about him was forgiven because it seemed like his violent nature was used to subdue a greater evil, including Butcher's transformation into a full-fledged supervillain and his first super kill, which, looking back, was a twisted hint to the boy's conclusion. In a truly horrifying act of hyperviolence, Butcher beat a baby soup to death with a lamp in order to survive the encounter. This is especially shocking given that Butcher was essentially killing the baby. Even though the baby would have killed him after killing his wife, it was still a baby. There are other instances in the boys where an infant is killed, but that one is a heinous act that permanently stains the soul of the one who commits it. It is revealed in the boys that Homelander went insane and murdered a whole roomful of people in the most horrible and disgusting ways imaginable, one of whom was a baby. Even though the circumstances were undoubtedly different, Butcher and Black Noir as Homelander are the only two characters in the boys who have intentionally killed babies, and by the end of the series, they have both paid a price for their horrifyingly horrible acts. After exposing himself as Homelander's clone, Having Homelander tear apart his body before Black Noir kills the phony Superman, the story ends horrifyingly with Butcher cracking open Black Noir's skull and crushing his brain. In a similar vein, Butcher's tale came to an end when Huey stopped him from detonating a soup bomb that would have destroyed every superhuman on the planet. As a result, Butcher suffered excruciating minutes of paralysis from the neck down before meeting his violent end. In the comic book series Crossed, when a decidedly unique strain of zombie infection causes the world to collapse. Some survivors find some children who have survived this long in the post-apocalyptic wasteland by killing unwary travelers who happen to stumble upon their path, a path that the survivors themselves almost died from. The kids' deaths were ultimately deemed necessary, and those who survived merely moved on. Even though their reasoning made sense, the harsh reality is that they killed children, and no amount of reasoning could absolve these survivors of that terrible responsibility. No matter the motivation, anyone who kills a child in a Garth Ennis novel pays a price in one way or another. Living in such a horrible world and having a guilty conscience were the only things that kept the crossed survivors alive. For Black Noir, it meant having his brain compressed and his body ripped apart. And for Butcher, it meant becoming paralyzed and then meeting a grisly end. Consequently, looking back, it seems as though Butcher's destiny was predetermined the instant he killed the Supreme Baby, which is a genuinely bizarre hint to the boy's conclusion. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.